Back to the Future was a movie that helped define the 1980s and made Michael J. Fox a star. In 1985, he describes the story of the movie. It's a DeLorean that this friend of mine who's a mad scientist converts into a time machine and, uh, and I get kind of trapped in it. It takes me back to the 50s and I, um, I run into my parents and uh, screw things up royally and I uh, have to kind of get it. I have to introduce my parents, Yeah. Uh, otherwise I won't exist. Now though, his future is increasingly defined by Parkinson's disease. As soon as I wake up, I can't go back to sleep. I mean, it starts going. So, so I, I would say that's the toughest part in the morning is, is to kind of go, well, I'm up whether I like it or not, I'm up now. And the other thing that happens to me in the morning, first thing is I get that dystonia, which is kind of cramping, and it can be very extreme. In a rare interview on ABC, he spoke about his challenges from something as small as using a toothbrush. Sometimes I have to put the brush down on the countertop, hold it flat, and get the brushes on, because if I hold it, I'm, I'll miss it. It's a moving target. But anyway, once I get all loaded up, then I just kind of bring it up to my mouth and then just let it go. One million Americans and more than 10 million individuals in the world are living with Parkinson's disease. There is no cure for Parkinson's disease and medication only helps with symptoms. There is no test and no progression marker for diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Additionally, there is a period of 5 to 20 years between the start of the disease and exhibition of symptoms. So it would have been great if Michael J. Fox could travel back in time to start the treatment much earlier. But he has been a strong advocate of Parkinson's disease and created a foundation to help advance every promising research path to cure Parkinson's disease. Michael J. Fox Foundation has funded Parkinson's Progression Marker Initiative, or PPMI, to assist scientists to establish biomarkers by collecting clinical and imaging data as well as biological samples from subjects all over the world. We employed multitask learning framework in PPMI dataset to predict progression of Parkinson's disease for up to four and a half years and to identify important predictive biomarkers. Using extensive experimental results, we validated the established biomarkers and discovered new markers that have not been recognized yet. We hope that the biomarkers we discovered in our research help expedite Parkinson's disease research towards early diagnosis and development of effective treatments.